to himself. Read. Oh, Bob, all people. What the Lord say? Oh, Bob, all people. Like the Lord said, the Israelites, his chosen people, will be above everybody on the earth. Now, I got to ask you, who danced the best, brother? Who cooked the best? Who women looked the best? Who's the strongest? Who's the strongest? Strong? Okay. People on the earth. Who's the fastest? Nation. Maybe we the fastest and the strongest. We the smartest too, bro. Right? Don't let the white man trip you up. They stole a lot of our uh, provision from us. Right? So, so, so that for our people to be above all the nations. Right? Let's bring this up, brother. Let me drill out through that Bring it up. It's the book of Judges, chapter 2 and verse 14. Read. And the anger of the Lord was hot against the children. Against Israel. Right, he said that the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. But like, you know when somebody say I'm hot, man? That mean I'm mad. He said I was furious at the Israelites, my chosen people. Right, read. And he delivered them into the hands of spoilers. Right. And spoiled them. He said I delivered them to the hands of spoilers that spoiled them. What does it mean to be spoiled? It means to be robbed. Everything taken from you, all your resources. Right? What resources do we have? Right, what land do we have? We was robbed and spoiled, right? We fit this, right? And he sold them into the hands of their enemies. He did what? And he sold them into the hands of their enemies. Right, so he said he sold them to the hands of their enemies. Now I got to ask you, brothers, who was sold on the earth? Black people. But the Lord said this happened to the Israelites. He said the Israelites were sold to the hands of their enemies. Right, we were sold to the hands of our enemies. But you got to understand something, where the Israelites are the Bible. He right. fit these curses. You know, it's the book of Joel. Chapter 3, verse 6. Right. The children also of Judah. Right, the children also of Judah, read. And the children of Jerusalem. Right, read. Have, have ye sold. Have ye what? Have, have ye sold. sold. What? Have, have ye sold. sold. Have ye sold. Right, the children of Israel. Right, y'all gotta pay attention. The children of Israel have ye sold. That's what we sold to, brothers. White people. You say the same thing, right? You say the children of Israel have been sold, right? Unto the Greeks! Unto the Greeks! Unto the Greeks! Our Greek so called white people. Right? Our Greek so called white people, brother. Right? Yeah. So the Lord said the Israelites would be sold to white people in the Bible as a prophecy. So if the Israelites were sold to white people and you were sold to white people, what does that make you? The Israelites, right? Right? right. 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 playing upon table. It's actually simple, brother. You would be an Israelite according to the Bible. And as an Israelite, you have to do certain things. We're not just up here for our own damn fun. But right? we up here doing the work of the Lord. That's right. right. Keep the commandments, brother. Uh, as a Hebrew Israelite. Right. right? Not as a Christian. Right? Not as a wild man. Not as a black man. Right? Not as a Muslim. You have to keep the commandments as an Israelite. This is your inheritance. This is who you are as a person. Right, you come from a man named Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. These are his 12 sons. Right, which tribe you come from, brother? What's your father? So called black, West Indies, Haitian, what's your father? You said what? Some of them are black. They're both black. So you'll be his life from the tribe of Judah, brother. Right? That's the thing. His mom thinks about the seed of the father. Right, because the man carries the seed. Right, an apple seed. Oh, so you'll be an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Oh, yeah, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. The Waya, right? That's the priest. Moses was a uh, was a Haitian, right? You know Moses is a so-called black man? Right. Say what? Yeah, that's talking about uh, Adam, man. Right? right, the first white man on the earth is Esau, right? Right? He's the devil of the Bible. Right? Because the devil always ran in cartoons. The white man, he ran. Right? So they know they the devil. But what we got here to tell y'all is y'all the Israelites, y'all got to repent and keep the commandments. Or the Lord is going to kill you, brother. Right? That's actually the judgment of the Lord. Right? Read that out. That's it. That piece of my thoughts. Right? 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 Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 41. Right? This is another curse upon the Israelites. Read. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. Right? But thou shalt not enjoy them. Read. For they shall go into captivity. Right, he said you're gonna go into captivity. And again, that only happened to our people. Right, so what's your nationality, brother? Right, hold on, brother, hold on. Give me a Genesis 32 and 28. Right, it's not registering, brother. I gotta ask you again. The Israelites were sold to the white man. That happened to us, right? So what would that make us? Israelite. That's your nationality. African American, that's too white. Man. You got Scipio's Africanus and the Barrico Vest. You got two white daddies. No, no. I said you can't be African American. You can't be black. That's the color of his shirt. Right? You're not the same color as his shirt. He's brown. 
Right, so you can't be black and African American. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. Read. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But thy name shall be no more called black. No more called African American. Nigga, read. But Israel. But what? But Israel. What? But Israel. But Israel. So you're not black. You're an Israelite, brother. Uh, right. God's chosen people, man. The people that's above all the nations. What power is in calling yourself black? That's just a color. That means everything negative and evil. What, what power is African American? That's two continents, right? With white men names. On. So you gotta say I'm an Israelite, brother. Say I'm an Israelite. How about you, brother? Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And you're Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Y'all brothers can't forget that. Y'all God's chosen people, man. That's right. Give me some right. It's time to return it to the Lord, where the Lord gonna kill you, right? You don't want the Lord to put you to death out here. The Lord does all the evil on the earth. God, right. Contrary to popular belief, it's not Satan. And Satan works for the Lord. That's right. It's the book of Cyrus. Chapter 17, verse 25. Read. Return into the Lord. The Bible says, Return into the, the, the Lord. Return unto the Lord. Keep the Lord's commandments. Read. And forsake thy sin. Right, and do what? And forsake thy right sin. So you have to forsake your sin. Do y'all brothers know what sin is? Anything against the Anything against the God's word. That's that's a little bit on point, but it's a specific definition. We're gonna get the specific definition, bro. It's the book of first John, chapter three and verse four. Three who so committed sin, right? Transgressive also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin, for sin is the transgression of the law. Right, so sin in more specific detail is break the laws of God. Right, we're gonna get a law for y'all real quick. Bring it up. Right, so when you're in sin, right, to forsake them, you first of all gotta know what the commandments are. It's not just 10 commandments, it's 613 commandments. All right, before you say, oh, that's a whole lot, it's 10,000 laws in the mirror. Right, over 10,000 laws in the mirror. That you follow, that you follow it right now, stop that the red light. That's a law. Right, we got certain laws we have to do. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 8. Bring it out. In this one. In the what? Oh, in the swine. Swine. Y'all brothers know what swine is? Pig. Pig. Pork, right? Read. Because it divided the hoof. Read. Yet chew up not the cup. Read. It is unclean unto you. Right, so pork is an unclean animal. You're not supposed to eat pork, bro. Right? I got a secret, man. Beef ribs is better, bro. Right, so I can't eat pork, bro. I said beef ribs is better. Yeah, I only eat beef ribs. Oh, you only eat beef ribs. All praise. Now you eat any pork? Bacon, you know what I'm saying? Bacon, 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 that's what I'm saying. You love the Lord more than you repent. And we used to all eat pork. We used to all eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. But we can't eat that stuff. Because we got to love the Lord more than we love our weakness. Right? Life is the ways of this world. Because a white man will tell you you can eat whatever you want. A white man tell you you can eat a snail. Right? You all love the white man. Right? You all love the white man up here. Huh? Right? So we don't believe a damn thing the white man tells us. So if he says it's okay to eat this, that, and the third, we go. We got, we got to look into it. And the Lord, and he's going to tell you everything that's good for you, right? Because he's our God. He's only the God of Israel. He's not the God of everybody on earth, right? right? And y'all got to remember that. So as Israelites, you can't do it. You just can't do it. Right? You got to return from, to the Lord. He shall not eat of their flesh. Right? So you can't eat of their flesh. Nor touch of their dead carcass. You can't even touch a dead carcass. You ain't sin just to touch the bacon, right? Unless it's beef bacon. You can't even touch it, brother. Right? It's not that serious, man. It's just pork, brother. It's just, it's just an animal. Right? Right? You shall eat the pork that are in the water. I was going to tell you what you can eat that's in the water. Or that have fins and scales shall ye eat. Right? They got both fins and scales. 
either make the tree good right. and his fruit good, right. or, or else make the tree corrupt right. and his fruit corrupt. Right. For the tree is known by his fruit. Right. So man is referred to as trees in the Bible. Right. That's why a tree is known by their fruit. So we just planting that seed in Lord willing, the Lord waters. So you can get so like Lord willing, the Lord gets that increase. All we can do is plant it, water it, and hopefully the Lord gets no brothers that increase. But the seed has been planted, man. The blood is off our hands. It's up to them to retire from their stiff neck way. It's up to them to repent fully and keep the commandments. Right? Because this thing is not a game, man. It's life or death. You gotta choose this thing. What you gonna do? That's right, right? Hey brother, you got five minutes for the Bible? Hey, brother. Give me the word, brother. Five minutes, King. You gotta repent. Keep the law, brother. Y'all here to tell the blacks and the Spanish to repent. Now, give me Luke 13 and 3, all right? All right. 13 and 13. All right. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13 and verse 3. Read. I tell you nay. Right. But except you repent. But what? But except you repent. Except you repent, read. Ye shall all likewise perish. Right, if you don't repent, me and turn from this sin, you're going to perish, right? So it's time that we forsake our wicked deeds, right? And return it to the Lord, right? right give me 2nd Edward 16 and verse 67. 2nd Edward 16 and 67. Give me Acts 17 and 3. Alright? Acts 16 and verse 67. It's the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 67. Hey, what's your nationality? Behold, God himself is the judge. Right, the most high himself is the judge, right? Fear him. Do what? Fear him. Right, you got to fear the Lord. Do you fear the Lord, brother? So talk to me, brother, five minutes, brother. All right, fear, it up. fear him. Leave off from your sins All right. and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. Right, forever. So you have to forsake those sins that you're in forever, man. That's how you properly repent, man. That's how you properly return into the Lord and strive for that perfection, man. Or you got to be perfect in this thing, man. You got to be blameless in this thing, man. Right? Right, Rick? So shall God lead you forth and deliver you from all troubles. Then the Lord will deliver you from all your troubles, man. Right? Bring it up. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 3. 30. Oh, 30. Like 30. Yeah. In the times of this ignorance, God we at. Read. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. But now the Lord commands all men everywhere to repent in this thing. So now it's time that we repent in this thing, man. Now, you know, at first you was ignorant, you was in the world, but now the Lord said it's time to repent, man. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah, Mark 1, the 15. You got to preserve it. It's a repentance. It it's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, verse 23. But thou hast mercy upon all. Right, the Lord said, Yeah, mercy upon all, right? For thou can do us all things. Right. And wink is as sin of men. Right, he wink is as sin of men. Right? right, so the Lord has that mercy, but it's up to you to really, you know, kind of get in this thing. Right? And properly repent to your, to your God. Right, matter of fact, don't that be, uh, no, 11 of because they should have men. Alright. Give me a Joe. Damn, what's that? Nah. Yeah. Alright, there's another one in Joe. I can't think of it, man. Mighty. Is that we got five minutes for the Bible. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. They always say, hey, look, God don't do nothing to say. Huh? All right? See that? Oh, okay, give me this hand. What's that person? Give me Joel 33. Like 24. Joel 33. It's the 
book of Job, chapter 34, and verse 31. 31. Surely it is me. Right, it is me, meaning it's a good thing. Right, right. To be said to God. Right. I have borne chastisement. Right, I carry chastisement, right? And when do you get chastised? When you're getting when you get punished for your sin. So it's a good thing to acknowledge that you are in sin. Right, right? I will not offend anymore. I will not offend anymore. Right? So you gotta say, look, I kinda offended, I got chastised, I'm not gonna offend anymore, God. Right, because that's love, man. It's when the Lord kind of punishes you for your sin. Right? What's going on, y'all brothers? Five minutes for the Bible. Five minutes. Got five minutes for the Lord. Five minutes. Right? Somebody Google it. Somebody Google it. Right? What's going on, young brother? I want to show y'all a picture real quick. I want y'all to tell me who this is. All right? Y'all to tell me who this is. Be Revelation 1. I want to bring this on. All right, what's up, brother? Snatching out. All right, yeah. I want y'all to see something. Who is this? This is long and slow. I want y'all to tell who is this man? What you say? Y'all, I say that's Jesus. You say that's Jesus. You say what? You say you want to bet five dollars on it? Right? You say that's Jesus, right? Are you talking to me? Right? 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 So we gonna see what Jesus actually looked like. You gotta separate from that white man. Right? Get revelation. So, like, so they say that's Jesus, right? So we gonna see something. Right? Bring it out. The book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Read it Revelation of Jesus Christ. Right, this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Actually, Jesus Christ, like, look, chapter verse 14. Book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. What the Bible says? His head and his hair were white like wool. That man had stringy hair, I think. Oh, but it said Jesus got hair like a sheep, like wool. Like, who has, like, sheep like hair? Yeah, like, do this to you. That's wool and hair. Right? So Jesus had hair like that. Right? Like you got. Right, ready? Really? That's white and snow. Right, he was uh, he was older, he was kind of stressed out. He had white woolly hair though. Like like an old older man, he got a white afro, right? Really? His eyes were at the flame of fire. He had red eyes. That man's eyes was blue. Right? Really? And his feet and like his, up to and his feet. No feet the same color as the rest of your body. Right? He said, Jesus' feet, right? Like unto fine bread. Like unto fine bread. Y'all know what color brass is? Brass. It's like a penny. It's like bronze. So Christ's feet look like a penny. That's the color of it. That man got red feet. That man is pale. But Christ is a dark he, he got brown feet, right? As if they burn and they burn. If you leave anything in the oven too long, what color is it? All black. So Christ's feet look like they was burnt in the oven. So what color is Christ? Black. Yeah, he's a bronze black man. So who is that man? Right? But you gotta understand it. That's a man named Caesar Borgia. Right? That's an actual Spain. That's an actual man who walked the earth. That's not Jesus Christ. Right? That's a, a homosexual, a raper, a robber. That's an actual man named Caesar Borgia. Right? So Christ looked like you, brothers. Right? Now, did Christ call himself black, or did he call himself a Jew? He called himself a Jew, right? So if Christ is black and he's a Jew, what would that make you? Black. Nope, that don't make you black. It make you a Jew, brother. You an Israelite, right? God and Hebrew Israelites are divided. That's right. Right? Christ looked just like you, man. Right? How that make you feel, brother, knowing Jesus looked like you, the greatest man walking the earth? Make you feel good, man. Right? You're an Israelite, man. Christ got to come through. Yo, father, so called black man. Right, so you from the same tribe as Christ. Yeah, Hebrews 7. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and 14. Really? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Right, our Lord Jesus Christ, he sprang out of the tribe of Judah. Right, he's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Judah is the fourth son of Israel. Right, these are the 12 tribes. These are your brothers right here. Your brothers and sisters. This is your family. Right? Is the so-called white man your family? Right? Of course not. Right? right? Not the East Indian. Right? Not the Arab man. But the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. This is your family, your brothers, man. Right? Y'all are the Israelites of the Bible. 
Kings and God's walking the earth. Right? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Give me uh, Psalm 82 and 6. Alright? We got to see how the Lord felt about you, brother. Alright? Let's go. The book of Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. Read. What now? What a holy people. Why you a holy people? Contrary to popular belief, you're not the same as everybody. You set apart. You're different. Right? Why you got a little more sauce than everybody. Right? Everybody kind of want to be like you. You don't want to be, you don't dress like a white boy. The white boy is dressed like you. Right, Reed? And to the Lord thy God. Reed? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Right? To be a special people. Right, he said you're a special people. Right? The blacks and Hispanics, we special to the Lord. Reed? And to himself. Reed? Above all people. No, we equal. Above all people. No, we the same. Above all people. Reed? Get a point. The faith. The earth. Right, so the Lord said his chosen people, they're above every nation. I gotta ask you, who the best basketball player? What's the second best? Third best. Alright, who's the best rapper? Who the best uh, uh dancer, singer? It's all our people, man. Right? You're not gonna say uh Ar uh, Ariana Grande over a damn You're not gonna do that. Right? You're not gonna put the white woman over our people. Right? Because our people are the best at everything. Right? Because the Lord said we're above all the things. See that? So you're an Israelite, man. Read this out. This is what the Lord said about y'all, brother. Right? Out the Bible. We're reading the Bible. Right? Christ is a dark skinned man. He's a Jew. Just like you. Right? Read. Right? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Read. Right? I have said, ye are God. The Bible saying, ye are God. But like he, he said, ye are God. Like, so the Lord, he called y'all God. He called y'all to give me uh, Genesis 17 and 4. He called y'all the gods of the earth. Are right? right, you gods over the sun? Right? 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 And all of you are children of the most high. And all of you are children of the most high. We all gods of the earth. We all gods of the Anybody got some flyers? Right? Just get the brother some flyers, man. Right, so we the Israelites in Christ. Alright? Alright, so y'all young brothers. Alright, so y'all young brothers take that information. That's our you know, Instagram and all that stuff. Alright? Flip to the other side. That's our Instagram, right? I guess we need to get more mommy. Yeah, get your mom back, man. We having a fundraiser tomorrow. All right, so I'll pray for you all time. I get you one tomorrow. Revelation 18. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter 18 and verse 21. Read. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone. Read. And cast it into the sea. Read. Saying. Thus with fire. No, just with hood. Thus with fire. No, just with marching. Thus with fire. No, just with kisses. Thus with violence. Just with violence, read. 
so that great city Babylon be thrown down Rich. and so be found no more at all. Right, you see that? So with that, I'm going to give a depth to America. Depth to America. Come, Yashar. Come, Yashar.